All right, guys, one topic that we have been getting a ton of requests for is improvised weapons. And originally, uh, improvised weapons was going to be the subject of a large series of survival packs um, midway through the year, from month six to month nine. Uh, but because of the volume of uh, requests and demands, we thought, you know what, we're going to get this right to you starting in week one. So the very first weapon we're going to work with uh, is a pen. And um, what I want us to understand is there are two basic rules when using all improvised weapons when I teach them. The first rule is to deeply understand what the tool is and what its limitations are. Too often, people teach improvised weapons in fantastic manners, um, using the tool with extreme over-reliance, extreme dependence, in ways that the tool simply wouldn't work. The most classic example is a rolled up newspaper or magazine. Rolled up newspaper or magazine is not that durable. If it's thin, if it's light, um, smacking somebody on the arm is not going to do a whole heap. And if I do that once or twice and try to hit somebody on the torso with that magazine, it's going to shred, it's going to rip, we'll see this later on, it'll kink, it'll bend, and it'll use its utility. But if I understand the limitation of that magazine, keep it rolled up, and I use it just to gouge across the eyes, or for one solitary poke right into the face like a combat bouquet of flowers, boom, there's some effectiveness, right? So the same thing with a pen. Here we have a moderately durable little Sharpie, right? So that's not a, sometimes a pencil or some of the even cheaper pens, you know, 25 cent pens will break very easily. Um, but this is just, you know, moderately durable. When I'm using the pen, I want to make sure that I'm not using it like some kind of a holy sword where there's an excessive amount of shaft coming out and a single movement's going to snap it, right? Um, if you do train with pens in your school, a recommendation is to buy the cheap pens and to simply take out the ink from experience. Take out the ink, trust me. Uh, pull out the ink cartridge, put the cap on it, wrap it up in a little bit of uh, duct tape, one layer of duct tape, just in case it, it breaks, it cracks, there's less likelihood of any of the plastic going into the person's hands. Much safer, a super simple cheap fix. We've got bags of them here that we use all the time. Um, so that's first rule, don't over rely on the tool. Second rule is when we begin with any improvised weapon, we need to learn how to operate despite having it. I'm not going to go into it with the pen, we're going to see this more in fabric, so I don't want to be too redundant, but in every case, without exception, when I teach improvised weapons, the first thing I teach people to do is to hold it and to use the remainder of their body. So a very typical drill would be to have a pen in your hand, or in your teeth, or over your ear, or anywhere you'd carry it, or on your, on your shirt, and simply to wrestle and put people down. You'd be amazed, just having a pen in your pocket when you move suddenly gives you some sudden awareness that your roll wasn't too pen friendly. Having it hooked here and you, you go to roll back could be dangerous. Having it in your hand, I don't use my hand. I use the remainder of my, my forearm to hook, my, my free arm, my elbows, my torso, both legs. So again, principle one, don't over rely on the tool. Every tool has limitations, know what it is and learn how to maximize its strengths. Principle two is begin by learning how to operate despite having the weapon. And that principle, too, is also a great way for finishing. Once people have gone through the full gamut of training and they know what they can do with it, is go back to not using it or only using it occasionally. So food for thought, but that's the first thing we want to start with, with any tool, specifically with pen.